The rapid decline of Switzerland's glaciers was laid bare this week after a new report showed that they'd lost 3% of their ice in the last year alone. It suggests many of the country's smaller glaciers won't survive our current level of warming. But scientists hope that rapid action could help to reserve, preserve what's left. Our climate reporter Mark Pointing has more. The iconic mountain landscape to Switzerland are changing before our eyes. This is Greece Glacier in 1919. Here it is today. Where once there was thick ice, there is now a lake. Dramatic changes at Perth Glacier and Mortaratch Glacier too. And at the largest alpine glacier of them all, the Great Aletsch. What was once frozen is now trees. Certainly a sense of, of sadness because um, I love the mountain, I love the glaciers. And so as a, as a person, I, I, I feel sad when I see this, uh, this appearance, this change. But on the other hand, it's also a really fascinating time as a, as a scientist. Switzerland's glaciers were roughly stable between 1950 and the early 1980s. Since then, they've lost almost half of their ice. UN scientists say the main reason for the rapid reductions in glacier ice worldwide over the past few decades is clear. It's human-caused climate change. Imagine this staircase is our valley. Here's our glacier. Higher up, it's colder. That's where ice is made from snowfall. Lower down, it's warmer. That's where most of the melting happens. In a stable climate, the ice gained roughly balances the ice lost. But in our warming climate, the melting outpaces the snowfall. That's why we see glaciers shrinking around the world. In the historical records, of course, there have really been massive changes. The glaciers of the Alps, they covered essentially the Alps and went way into Germany. So the, the glaciers have been much, much larger. But what, what we see now is really massive changes within a few years. And we know we can attribute much of it to anthropogenic climate warming. So that's also, it's really human, human made. The disappearance of glaciers adds to global sea levels and threatens the water supplies of millions of people around the world. And while many smaller glaciers won't survive our current level of warming, scientists are crystal clear that sharp cuts to carbon emissions can still save much of the world's ice and preserve at least some of these pristine mountain views. Mark Pointing, BBC News.